today we will talk about the Artemis 1 mission again. This time, however, outside of the Orion spacecraft. We will focus on the 10 CubeSats that were launched as secondary payload. CubeSats are small satellites with standardized dimensions. As a part of the Artemis 1 mission, a total of 10 of these small satellites from the USA, Italy and Japan were released from the adapter on the upper stage of the rocket. They all had the same dimensions of 10 by 20 by 30 centimeters, but their tasks are very different. Of the 10 CubeSats that were released, only half is working without any problems. Argo Moon has already sent photos of the Earth and the Moon. BioSentinel will study the effects of cosmic radiation on yeast. Aculeus mission is to monitor the impacts of cosmic rocks on the surface of the Moon. Luna H map will focus on the spatial distribution of water on lunar surface. Omotenashi will even attempt to land on the Moon. Four of the CubeSats are experiencing problems. Whether it's with recharging of the batteries or the communication with Earth. Specifically, the CubeSat CUSP, which was supposed to study space weather. Team Miles, which mission was to study ion propulsion on iodine as a fuel. Loon IR was supposed to measure the spectral and thermal properties of the Moon. The Lunar Ice Cube was to work with the Luna H map to search for water on the lunar surface. Of the 10 satellites that were released, we only have one more to mention. Quite possibly the most interesting one. Unfortunately, the NIA Scout CubeSat with a solar sail, which was supposed to fly by an asteroid, is not communicating at all. The CubeSats were apparently affected by the several months long delay, and it was not possible to recharge their onboard batteries. There is always something going on in space flights and new episodes of Spaceflight News are published six times a week. If you don't want to miss any of them, subscribe to our channel.